Hey, what's up guys, Coach Myers. Welcome back to my kitchen for another edition of Max Effort Muscle Meals. I'm here to teach you how to cook. Now today, I'm gonna to talk about what I think is one of the most underrated sandwiches on the planet, and that is the egg sandwich. Now you're probably thinking, Coach, how is the egg sandwich underrated? We see, you know, egg sauce and cheese, or a egg, and egg on a biscuit, you know, breakfast sandwich, whatever, we see those all the time, they're everywhere. Well, I think the egg sandwich is underrated because it doesn't necessarily have to be a breakfast sandwich. I think the egg sandwich is very versatile because you can put basically anything on it, slap between some toast, and it's gonna make an excellent high protein meal any time of day. And I'm gonna go a step further. I think if anyone out there wants to partner up, me and you, we can open up a chain of kind of egg sandwich, egg centric sandwich, you know, little shops or whatever, kind of become the, uh, the Chipotle version of egg sandwiches, have all these different toppings. I think we can make millions. So hit me in the DMs. Let's get that thing started. In the meantime, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make what I call the Fiesta egg sandwich. Super simple. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna fry up a little bit of onion and bell pepper. We're gonna toast up some good bread here. I got some, uh, what is this? Dave's Killer Bread. So it's kind of like a white bread, but it's all organic, way healthier, right? Uh, we got some uh, free range, you know, cage free, all that good stuff, eggs. Um, like I said, we're gonna fry the onions and peppers. We're gonna throw about half an avocado on there. Dress it up with a little bit of cilantro, some goat cheese. You can use any cheese, but I'm gonna go with the goat cheese. Some chipotle salsa, and of course my favorite sriracha, the ninja squirrel. This one is super quick, super convenient, and you know it can take something you think of as being a breakfast sandwich, and this could be your dinner, it could be your lunch. It's any time go. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna chop up some bell peppers here. Now, these are just some little little snack bells. If you had like a regular size bell pepper and you're making, you know, one or even two sandwiches, you're probably gonna need about half of a pepper. And we're gonna go with about half of an onion. Now we want this, the onion and pepper to cook up pretty fast. So we're gonna you know, dice it pretty, pretty small pieces here. Got the skillet heating on a you know, medium. We'll fry these up in some olive oil. Shouldn't take more than about five minutes to have the onions and peppers ready. Remember, back of the knife, but you still don't want to press too hard. Just... Mm -hmm. There we go, we got that all ready to go now for our toast. Here's the key to perfectly cooked crispy eggs over easy is you know you get your olive oil hot right before you put the eggs in you throw in a little bit of butter and that way that'll make the edges of the eggs kind of brown and crispy just enough and give it a little bit of a sweet flavor that's an og tip right there
All right, once the onions are starting to get a little bit of translucent look to them, like you can kind of see through them, um, that's when you know the stuff is pretty much done. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move the onions and peppers kind of over to one side. Add that little pat of butter. Crack that first egg right in that butter very carefully. Now, here is another key. Just so we don't have all the onions and peppers, you know, kind of in their own layer or like sitting on top of the sandwich, we're gonna move some of them over and we're gonna crack the other egg right on top of those peppers. So that way they'll kind of be embedded into the egg, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It was nice, <clears throat> nice little kind of like bubbles and crispness along the edge of the eggs right there. You don't get that without the butter in there. That's gonna be key to give it a nice, nice finished taste. All right, there we go. Super versatile, the egg fiesta sandwich. I got it layered on there. I got the goat cheese, two eggs, and one of those eggs has the onions and peppers embedded into it. A little more onions and peppers on top. On the other piece of toast, we got the avocado, salsa, we got some sriracha, a little bit of cilantro to dress it up. And I mean, really, you could add anything to this if you wanted to add, you know, any type of leftover meat, you know, chicken or beef, or even if you had some, some turkey lunch meat, you could add that as well. But so I encourage you to not only make this, but start experimenting. Like I said, the, the egg sandwich is so versatile, you can really put anything on it on toast with an egg and it's gonna be good, I promise that. So thanks for tuning in, let me know how you like this one. Mm. That's money, honey.